успешно.
mothers in their respective regard and to the our, our hospitality staff, our, to our ushers, our doorkeepers, to all of you, our sinners and saints alike, to the saved and, and the unsaved, friends, our enemies, all y'all that make up this assembly. It is our effort to welcome Lottie and Dottie and everybody. We welcome you to this effort of worship. And, uh, and watch this. As we go to our text here, uh, uh, don't worry about it to our, to our, to our choir members. Uh, Amen. Don't, don't worry about the mistakes that were made. Uh, you just got to sing it. Some folks see my fault. Yeah. 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 God sees your accomplishment. Yeah. And, and, and what you need to, what you need to uh, put emphasis on is it's not negating that we made some mistakes. Oh no, no, don't worry about that. Yeah. But, but, but watch this. Look at what you accomplished. Yeah. You, you, you see, yeah. you, you could have, like folk do, folk will let mistakes turn their life around. Yeah. Over against looking at the possibilities that lie beyond the mistakes. Yeah. 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 See, I saw the finished building. That's what I saw. See, yeah, yeah. See, I, see, I'm, you know, in, 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 in construction. See, see, even the, even the greatest of us make wrong, bad cuts sometimes. You get what I'm saying? That's like my, I used to tell my students, measure twice and cut once. And sometimes I measure twice and still make a mistake. Now, don't tell my students that. <laughs> but it's the end result. Yeah. Look, look, look at what you built. That, that's the order of the day. All right, then. 33rd chapter. 33rd chapter. I want to start reading... First verse, chapter 33, everybody with me? Again, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, speak to the children of your people. Say to them, when I bring the sword upon the land, the people of the land take a man of their coast set him for their watchman. If when he sees the sword, he's thinking, Yeah. 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 
if you live in Jeremiah, you're not that far from it. <laughs> Is everybody with me? Yes. Mighty fine. fine. All right, everybody there. No, too much. It's Ezekiel 33, I'm sorry. Great. Verse 1. Again, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of your people. Say to them, When I bring the sword upon a land, the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman. If when he sees the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever hears the sound of the trumpet takes not warning, the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning, his blood shall be upon him. But he that takes warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not bad, if the sword come and take away any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, yes, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. So you, son of man, I have set you a watchman to the house of Israel. Therefore, Thou shalt hear the word of my mouth and warn them from me. When I say to the wicked, O wicked man, you shall surely die. If you do not speak to warn the wicked from his way, the wicked man shall die in his iniquity, yes. But his blood will I require at your hand. Nevertheless, if you warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he does not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity. But you have delivered your own soul. Therefore, son of man, speak to the house of Israel. Thus ye speak, saying, if our transgressions and our sins be upon us, and we pine away in them, how should we then live? Say to them, as I live, saith the Lord, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways. For why will ye die, O house of Israel? And I'm going to stop there. All right, and they all said amen. amen. The responsibility of the church. Somebody say, the responsibility, the responsibility of, the church. of the church. So, who is responsible for a thing? As we look at our time, and we see, at least if you are paying attention to where we are now in the, uh, in the issue of our day, when it comes to what is right? What is wrong? What is up? And what is down? <laughs> what is left? And, and, and what, is, what is right? Ezekiel finds Israel at a time when they have been uh, torn apart. There are, there are no more one nation, as it were. Because the nation has been split.
because of sin within the nation. Now here it is, before this particular time, as God has sent prophets in particular to say to his people Israel, it has always been talking to a people that was spoken to as a unit. Before this time, when God sent the prophet to Israel, God sent the prophet to Israel to speak to them as a people that would suffer every aspect of living together. Right? So then, when they had a good king, and the king was, was uh, following the precepts of God, and thereby the people followed, the nation was blessed. But at the same time, when the leadership were men after their own hearts, after their own agendas, even the people that were indeed faithful to God, when the nation suffered, they suffered. So here it is. And so the Jews uh, had a saying, it wasn't so much a saying, but they came to uh, God in petition one time. They said, why is it that you hold us accountable for what our forefathers did? Why is it that you are, you are you're punishing us for what they did? We didn't do it. Why are we responsible? Whose responsibility does this fall under that we are getting what we are getting? And then they begin to tell God what they did. We did this for you. We did that for you. We did this for you. And then God sent the prophet back to say, well, now, yeah, you know, you're right, you did all that, but who told you to do it? <laughs> now, what you do in the name of God who told you to do that? Was it possibly your tradition? Here's what I'm looking at. I'm peculiar enough. They'll fell, fell a long way short of the peculiar time. My, my, my son, they, they, they showed up. At, 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 just at, the, at, at this particular moment, because peculiarly enough, <coughs> I'm right here once again. <laughs> <coughs> Go for it. Usually, the children bear some reflection of the parents. <laughs> And I, and I see young men with half of their behind hanging out. 
<laughs> Hold up. Hey, can I hear you chuckle? Uh, but, but see now, most of y'all spend more time with the housewives right than you do being the wife of Christ. Uh, well.
some men that I know could make a difference in the lives of other men. And so, yeah, I'm I'm praying for my sons that their lives would make an impact on this world. And no, they may never call your name in Hollywood. They may never find your name on the Grand Marquis of the world. But but when your name is written in the land for the blind. When your name is written on that marquee. Yes. One of these days. Yeah, 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 yes. The Lord's going to call my name. Yes, sir. And just like Lazarus, he's going to call I. And it will be just for me. Well, as soon as my feet strike Zion, there's going to be a, yeah, a divine marquee. And it's going to say today, starring Isaac, the servant of the living God. And my soul ain't going to wonder how I got over. Amen. Jesus brought me over. Jesus right now is sending a warning to his church. For the church to shout to the world. Yes. Do y'all hear the horn? Yes. Do y'all hear the horn? Yes. <clears throat> well, what I'm saying to you is, let our children know the reality of serving Christ yes. in times like these. Yes. Not by our traditions. Mm-hmm. Not by our church clothes. Oh, right. oh no. Not by how you say God. (laughs) Hallelujah. (laughs) That won't save anybody. There go. There go the challenge. Yeah, it makes me makes me feel uh, uh, wonderful. and hey, some folk get all jacked up about it. But now, this is what I mean. I see my, every time I see my sons, and, and uh, I look now, and I see Big Daniel. And uh, I see Isaac. Another man child, Dallas Blake. I am my prayer to God for my sons. Children who 
who's responsible? Yeah. You look at him, you'll see yourself. You, you look at him, listen to him, and you'll hear yourself. Mm. It's an awesome thing. I, I hear myself a new boy. You know. Just, just, in the, just in the mannerisms. Mm -hmm. see, just like those mannerisms that you all have that actually they're mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, my oldest son, he's shaking his head out here. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but just understand, when I, when, when I, when I see that in them, and, and, see now, and I'm, just, I'm just there, yeah. I say, Lord, smack the devil with them boys. <laughs> That's our effort, young man. Smack the devil. Smack the devil. Let him know. Let him know. These, these, our times, our times need need men who will stand up and be accountable as a follower of Christ and not like a Hollywood church man. Hollywood, see, Hollywood, Hollywood, see, Hollywood wants the preacher to be funny. He, he wants the preacher to be just, just a, a jolly old chicken eating pot belly somebody. Mm -hmm. the colonel. And, and that's how come every time you see the preacher, he's funny, ain't he? Yeah. <clears throat> Love chicken. Make a difference. For we will be held accountable. 